Hello, this is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com, and today we're going to talk about how the Hydrofloss can help with your personal finance control. A little bit of a strange topic, how does a device like this affect your finances? And I'm about to, or help, or aid your finances, and I'm about to tell you how that happens, so stand by. We'll get to that before this video ends. This is how it happens. It's through unexpected expenses. Everyone that has a budget or personal finance control understands that certain expenses are going to pop up. and Some expenses can be predicted and accounted for ahead of time and others just cannot. They're more like emergencies. And that's what we're talking about more or less to some extent here. We're talking about your dental expenses, right? The reason why these are tricky is because most insurance does not fully 100% cover dental health, unexpected dental health expenses, right? Maybe some really good insurances cover 40% or something like that, but for the most part, insurance doesn't cover this type of problem. So what kind of unexpected expenses can come up? Well, you could be hit with the scaling and root planing treatment. And one of those typically costs in the United States about $1,500 for the full mouth. And in some places it's much higher and in some places a little bit lower. But that's perhaps the average from what I can tell. Gum surgery. You've heard of laser gum surgery. And then there's traditional gum surgery and all kinds of other gum surgeries. And, of course, dental implants are very expensive. Each dental implant could cost, two th well, probably will cost more than $2,000 in the United States. Now, if you go south of the border into another country, maybe you can get some cheaper treatment, but do you really want to do that? And then, of course, the last option is dentures, when some the lower cost option, but it's also problematic to have dentures. So I'm sure you agree keeping your natural teeth is the most important part, but these expenses can come up. You can go to your dentist and you you know they look at your gums and they say oh you've got gum disease a very common problem about you know dental professionals tell us about 75% of people have gum disease so when you have gum disease present they may want to do one or more of these options the scaling or root planing treatment is designed to clean tartar build up tartar underneath the gum line to give your gums a chance to heal and for the periodontal pocketing to shrink and again, that's a very exp it's it's a fairly expensive treatment, about fifteen hundred for the whole mouth. Gum surgery, I don't know, three thousand or more dollars. Laser gum surgery, expensive stuff. An implant, single implant, again, two thousand dollars. So these are things that, like, what if your insurance only covers forty percent? What if you don't have insurance? You know, these expenses are high, and they're going to bust your personal finance control because, you know. They're unexpected. You don't know that this is going to happen. So how do you mitigate that? And that's where this machine comes in. Now, I can't protect everyone 100%, you know, 100% of the people 100% of the time. That's just not possible. And if you do have any type of periodontal or gum disease, be under the care of your dentist or periodontist. That's very important. However, the key objective measurement that many dentists or dental professionals will use to determine your gum health is the periodontal pocket depths. That's one of the things that goes into their diagnosis, right? If your periodontal pocket depths are three millimeters and below, that's a good sign. That's typically, generally speaking, considered healthy gum tissue. And above three millimeters is typically speaking, uh, generally speaking, I should say, considered unhealthy gum tissue. So this is where the hydrofloss can come in. I've talked to many people, and I have the experience myself, of using this machine properly, reducing periodontal pocket depths. And in my personal experience, I was told I needed one of those scaling and replaning treatments, right? That's the $1,500 treatment that we talked about on the last slide. I was able to shrink my periodontal pockets using this machine, and the dentist, uh, after several months of using this, I went back, the dentist said, well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Your gums are healthy and you don't need that treatment anymore. So this little machine, which costs about 98 bucks, saved me $1,500 right off the bat. And I've, as I continue to use it, how many more times has it saved me by helping me to keep my gums healthy? How many more times over the years? It's been, you know, I don't know, that was eight years now. Eight years and 
So who knows how much more this device has helped. So this is how this device can save you or help protect you from some of the unexpected dental expenses that occur. And again, like I said before, uh, dental professionals tell us about 75% of people have gum disease. So I would say to you, you know, if you're into finance, you probably understand percentages. 75% means three out of every four people, right? That's dangerous. It's dangerous for you. It's dangerous for your dental health. It's dangerous for your body health because gum disease has been connected to all kinds of other diseases. So it doesn't matter if you're talking about gingivitis. Bleeding gums are a sign of gingivitis and gum disease. Um, periodontal disease or any other term, stage 4 or 5 periodontal disease, whatever they want to call it, it's all the same disease process in different stages. And this problem is something that can cause people to lose teeth, and obviously nobody wants to you know, lose their teeth or be faced with one of those expenses that we talked about on the previous screen. But 3 out of every 4 people, that's what 75% means. So what are the odds that this device can help you? And furthermore, if it can, if it can, and again, I can't guarantee 100% for everybody, that's just impossible. But for a lot of people, this has been helpful. And if you can get those periodontal pockets down, that's an objective measurement that your dentist can verify for you, right? You can go in there after using this properly for a month or, long, or maybe about a month and go back and get those periodontal pockets checked. And that's your objective way to know if this is helping you or not. And your dentist can tell you right off the bat, yeah, your periodontal pockets are better or they're not. And for, again, 98 bucks, I was able to save myself from a $1,500 treatment. And that was eight years ago. And I continue to use this device and I haven't had any periodontal problems since. So I think this is a valuable tool to help you control your personal finances. This is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com. If you have any questions about this video, you can reach me at this number here. And I will be glad to talk to you about what I know. Again, always be under the care of your dentist. And this is a tool that you use in conjunction with your getting your regular dental cleanings and checkups, of course. And you use the periodontal pocket measurements that your dentist or hygienist can provide you to let you know how well or how poorly you're doing and if this has made a big difference for you or not. And your dentist is always there to provide other treatments if, you know, this didn't work for you. But I think there's a good chance that it will. This is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com. Again, if you have questions, give me a call at this number. Thanks for watching. And there will be a link to this direct page underneath the video so that you can come and read more. There's quite a bit to read here. And again, this is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com. Thank you for watching. and.